This might be a controversial take, but I'm seeing a lot of queer white people posting shit like, like posting themselves being really happy and doing some random shit and being like, yeah, our joy is resistance. And like, in my opinion, white people's joy is not resistance. Like queer or not, your joy is not resistance. Matter of fact, your joy is what got us here in the first place. Like your joy is why we're having to resist and like y'all putting yourselves and finding yourselves and like your own joy in front of everybody else is what got us here like literally i'm seeing so many white people right now going on like organizer retreats and you posting both? about their joy and how awesome it got us where what does he mean i'm confused i'm confused as fuck what does he mean by the joy is the the what i'm confused bro it's, it's bro speak to me in like in like regular people non-woke terms there's like, six I be seconds regular human beings there's like six seconds left to this i'm just gonna listen okay. to it and then we're gonna dive into this so it was honestly i want to see more of y'all like sitting your ass at home and giving your money to black and brown people so they can do that shit this might so simply put she is saying that white people do not deserve to be happy and shouldn't be happy and if you are happy or are having joyful moments in life you should find a way to not put yourself in those situations because it's wrong for you to be happy. Make it make Wait, sense. Wait, what? Literally. Yeah. So she's saying white people shouldn't be happy. Like, she's triggered and bothered by the fact that there can be white people that are happy. Like, they're finding things that are joyful. Even though in this yeah, scenario... They gotta got take the internet from some people. I'm not gonna lie. They do. We Like, we do. I, like they gotta be, they gotta be like you gotta have a certain level of IQ or some shit, or like you gotta have, you gotta like you know how you gotta have a driving test or some shit. You gotta have like a fucking idiot test to to use the internet or some shit. Like what are we talking about? Because then it's like if you apply her same logic, <sighs> bro. Not even that. Go further into it. She's complaining about the people that are supporting whatever her movement is. She's literally talking about people that are. Going to some of the same, I don't know, kind of protests, retreats, or whatever you want to call it, that involve whatever her movement, and they're supporting that movement. She's triggered because they happen to be white. And they seem to be having fun or enjoying doing it. Yeah, I'm I'm not going to lie. Like, I've said this in the past. I don't, I don't be around a whole bunch of white people, but it's not because I have anything against them. I just, I don't really know that many. But like, I, what do y'all have against white people? I don't get it, baby. I live in, a, in like in Philly, so maybe you know it's different a little bit. But I don't, I don't get it. Like, what? Is, why? Why do these people like? I like. I I think every everybody is racist. Like everybody, like everybody has a little like a hint of racism to them. Every single human being you run into, like it just what the fuck? What, like, what are we talking about? That's like just being racist right now. Yeah, but that's like if you put that shit to anybody, you can't like. We can't be, you can't have joy. You can't feel joy. Like that, like what, that's literally the purpose of life. It's one of the purposes of life. Who are you to say that they so, can't, they can't feel joy? Like, because they, they, white people had slaves 200 years ago. So I'm just like, bro. It's, so I'm trying to make it make sense. And I'm trying to understand the, the, the reasoning behind it. And I'm like, even the last statement, I'm like, are you saying shit just to say shit and be inflammatory on purpose? Or do you truly in your mind believe this? Like you're going to tell people, don't do the things that bring you fulfillment and joy in life. And if you're white, just take your resources and automatically do not use them for you in any way, shape or form, but give it to black and brown people just to give it to them. Like, I don't know if you see my skin tone. I don't want shit given to me just because I look the way that I look. Like, I cannot believe, is there people truly out there that want shit that they, you didn't work for, you didn't deserve, you haven't earned, how would you even value it? Let's say they do start giving it to you. What do you think we're going to do with it? Blow that shit. And then who's the bad person there? Who are we going to blame at that point? Let's still find some way to blame the white man. Oh, he didn't give me enough. He should have gave me more. Like some of the shit people be saying, this is just doing it to the point that you're going to create more and more resentment towards whatever agenda, movement, idea 
you're pushing. Because what's happening, your ideas and your movement might have initiated with good intent. You're taking it to a very weird extreme. And you're making it so people are not willing to even hear you out anymore. Because some of the shit you're saying just makes no sense. So if, if this is what you're saying now, I'm going to assume everything else you, you're saying is just as crazy, just as nuts. And it's probably only going to make you go even more crazy because you're going to believe nobody listens to you. Nobody pays attention to you. Nobody gives you your participation trophy for saying whatever you think sounds smart. But this shit is crazy. Like, what's the end result that you want? She wants uh, black and brown people to give to be money given to them, to get money given to them, apparently, is what she wants. By who? White people. That work, that work just like the... the the sit the man right next to him and work to get work to get their money, but no, you want you want to give it to you because you what because of like. I don't so get it, I don't know because I, I don't, and and maybe I'm wrong, but most of the people I'm around tend to have similar economic access as I do, whether they're black, brown, Asian, non-Asian. It's just the type of people I hang around. Yeah. And I've noticed that in all levels of my life, like when I was like in my teenage years working, most people around me were the same. And I don't mean like same like me, but they were monetarily doing the same. When I was like 18, 19, like most of the people I was around, different races, we were making about the same amount of money. You know what I mean? Like we were kind of doing okay. How do I ask somebody who's working retail the same way that I am, that just because they're white, they should give me money? Just due to the fact that they're white and I'm not. Like, how do you tell that to somebody making $20,000 a year? How do you tell that to somebody making $40,000 a year? How do you tell that to somebody? It doesn't even mat matter what it is. There are white people in poverty. Probably most poor people in America are white right now. They're, they're the majority of people. So, like, how do you tell that just based on your age, you're supposed to give me what you earn and your work for it's the idiots. You know what I'm saying? We got to take the internet from some people. And some people might feel like they got to take the internet from me. And you know what I say to that? You might you might be right. But still, they got to take that shit from her. Because I wouldn't say no shit like that. Like, I'll be fucking around, but she said, she was serious. She be talking some bullshit. Shit. I don't know. I just heard it. I was like, ah, we got to react to it. Because I'm like, shit like this is getting out of hand. But like in the sense, like what we gotta call, like calling it out in the sense of like, yo, you bugging out, like you're making shit worse because now you're kind of like pushing white people, like you're, you since you, you're telling these people to like basically jump off a cliff and give you everything that they have before they do, it's like you you kind of forcing somebody to hate you type shit. Like you're kind of. What I mean, you're creating animosity that probably wasn't even there to begin with. So now a white person that might see you outside and recognize your face like, yo, isn't this the dummy that said that shit? And might might really feel like a type of way about it might approach you or or might address you a certain kind of way. Like, cause like now they may not like you, not because of the color of your skin. They may not like you because of the what you say. And honestly, they may have all the right to not like you because of what you're saying. The same way you have all the right to not like somebody based on what they're saying. Now, the fact that you don't like people because being joyful away. just because they're white, to me, that's more concerning that some people are not liking you because you're saying dumb shit on the internet. But yeah, it's, it's those echo, like I've, I've caught myself in those echo chambers, like growing up in life around people that's like, Oh, white people are, are this and that, like like they just this big bad monster. And then when you're around that, you in the echo chamber all the time, you start you kind of get like this, like fear and this paranoia, like this thing of like. But I'm like, I don't even it's have no like real reason to, to feel this way. You get from around those people, and then you might, and then you change your your, your circle of people. You're like, oh shit, like it's not even what I thought it was. I was just trying to see if there were any comments. Of course, the comments are turned off. Hmm. Yeah. This has been Never Famous. Please make sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank you.